Hey everyone, welcome again to another video here on the Fox Tech YouTube channel. This time we talk about iMessage signed out error. In fact, I already made a video about this, but the thing is that it happened to me recently one more time, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I did in this specific case. In that video, I showed you all the stuff you can do to try and fix it, but in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly the process of what I did to fix it in like real life scenario. So here is an iPhone and here is my current situation. So when I open up the messages, you can notice that iMessage is signed out. So an error occurred in your account, sign out of iMessage. And I was not able to send any messages. I was able to send text messages to that specific number, but this is what showed up. This is what the case was. So I had the option to ignore it or click on the settings. So I just clicked on settings and it just moved me over to iMessages or the messages section with my uh, Gmail address and like Apple ID section and being there, but I was not able to even click on the sign in button. I wasn't really able to do anything from that settings page. So it linked me to settings, but nothing really happened. You can see I don't have the option to sign in or anything like that. I have the option to create an Apple ID, but of course I don't want that. Like when I click on it, it's verifying. So new Apple ID can be created. Doesn't help at all in my situation. Okay, so what I did is just, I came back to the settings and opened up the main section at the top like this. And I was able to just get in here and go to my Apple ID section. I came back, nothing really happened. So what I did is that I just got inside as I say, and I just scrolled all the way to the bottom and clicked on the signed out button. So I just signed out and I typed in my password for the Apple ID. So of course you have to go through the uh, security stuff to, to actually do something with your Apple ID. So I'm just typing in the password right now. I'm signing out. So the sign out is going to take out a bit more. You have to just select if you want to keep a copy of the contacts and calendars and stuff. I didn't care. So I just clicked on the sign out button just still proceeded with the, the next step. And I basically signed out of my Apple ID account from the entire iPhone. So I just had to wait a little bit for this to really just go through. And now it basically just made me have an empty iPhone without Apple ID. And then I basically got inside of the messages, the same stuff, but with, without my email at the top. So nothing really happened. So I just clicked on sign in with my Apple ID. I just did what I was supposed to do. Like I just typed in my email address. And basically the entire process is that I just signed in back with my Apple ID. I just reset it one more time. So uh, right now I'm typing in the password. You cannot see it. So it's been verifying signing into iCloud again. I'm doing it within like five minutes, just taking not a long time, but I just reset, got out of the iCloud and Apple ID, and then I'm coming back in with the, the same Apple ID, same iCloud. So in this case, I'm waiting a bit for it to load up. So this is what I have to wait and go through. And of course I have to enter the passcode of my other device. So this was actually not the passcode of my own device, but a device which was on the same Apple ID, but a different one. For whatever reason, it asked me that some kind of security measure, I guess. So I just did that. No problem, of course. So you can choose to merge and don't merge data. It's just a basic sign in and uh, the stuff which you do when you're like signing in with your iCloud and I'm back with my Apple ID. It appears that everything is fine. So I just come back to the main settings section and scroll down to the messages in here. I can see that the account is there, but it's verifying by default. You can see it's just loading up in the upper right corner. I don't really have any option to do anything in here, but after some time, it just works. You can see iMessage is turned on once again. I can change it up and use like a different address for the send and receive whatever I want. But in this case, you can see that it just does work right now. I have the messages back again. So what you can do now is to come back, open up the messages. Right now, no, no error is showing up in here. I can just go and type whatever text I want and it's just going to work. So you can see, I, I can type in uh, basically anything. I blurred it out so you cannot see it. But when you type anything in, you get the blue arrow. So you can use iMessage normally. You can hold down on it and add it. 
um, you can add there like any effects, all the stuff that you want. Cause yeah, it's, it's iMessage. It works normally. So this is what fixed my problem in that very specific case. This is why I made an updated video to show you exactly what I did in real life. Not just tips you can try out, but some things which you can actually, something I actually did and what worked for me. Okay. But before we wrap up the video, I need to show you one more thing, which is this Fox tech educational platform. Inside of the here, you can join it for free. Of course, it's linked down below in the description. But what you need to know about it is that inside you can find free resources like free video editing courses, all apps explained. You can find other people who are learning about their devices as well. And more content is being added there all the time. Stuff that I don't put out on YouTube. So go ahead and check it out. It's linked in the description. Right now, I'm going to wrap up the video. Hit the thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe down below to the Fox Tech, and I will see you in the next video.